All right, guys, so I did shut the video down, but I wanted to amend it slightly. I wanted to show you guys up, up close because when I was watching the video from where I was standing through the uh, viewfinder screen, I, I didn't feel like you guys got the grasp of exactly what was going on. So I wanted to just do a couple of things up close uh, so that you can see it better. So you've got clean microfiber towels. I've got my hybrid boost that I've been talking about this whole time. And I've got my brand new Sea-Doo. Um, you'll notice I, when, I'm keep, when I keep the Sea-Doo in the garage, I, I do keep a battery tender on it. So that's what's going on here. But in order not to damage my finish, I put a towel behind it. So as far as this product goes, you spray it directly on. So that is actually overkill you don't have to apply that much but I always want to over apply when I'm doing a, a video so that if there's any streaking or anything you can see it in the video um, especially for the simple reason that if it's streaking or not operating how I need it to in a demo obviously that's a problem so I want to straighten that out for you guys but you see all of that on the surface you literally after your ski is clean and dry, all you do literally is wipe this stuff in. That's it. Nothing to it. This uh, seems to be plastic material, similar material to the actual seat, but you can apply it to that too. I mean, hell, you can apply it to your speakers if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. All it's going to do is protect. It's going to preserve uh, your investment for the life of it. This black trim on the speaker box, wipe it right into that. Nothing fancy. Um, it's going to remove fingerprints, smudges, all that. Uh, black plastic trim. You see that stuff going on there. I'm over using the product right now to give you guys a fantastic demo. So that's it. Uh, we are actually going down to uh, the Keys soon. And uh, it's pretty brutal down there. Not only can you run aground pretty easily, but uh, just, you know, it's salt water, just like we have here. But um, I just want to make sure it's protected for when I go and use this thing. I, I spent a lot of money, my hard earned money on this thing. I want to make sure I give it the absolute best that I can. And I can tell you from my personal experience that when I develop a product, I do try out the leading stuff on the market and we engineer these products to be the best that I've ever used. So I don't stop until I prefer it over everything I've used. Now, opinions are like assholes and that's exactly what this detailing industry is about. But I truly believe that when you use this product, it's so easy to use, so not even complicated that it's a no-brainer that you would use a product like this especially if you want the best possible end result at no real effort you spray it and you wipe it now if you use this stuff in direct sunlight you're absolutely going to get some streaking bottom line you want it to be on a cool, dry surface. It does not have to be inside a garage. It can be outside. Wait till the end of the day where the sun is not directly on it. Uh, and then it'll go on and wipe in with no problem, no streaks at all. If the sun hits it or if the surface is hot, it's going to rapidly cure too fast. That's the problem. So when the curing process happens, it hardens the product and that hardness should be your scratch resistance that'll give you it should be your bird bomb resistance your salt resistance um, but it becomes a big blob of blah if you don't do it out of direct sunlight so as you can see and the reality is if you'll come over here we'll do it on some black stuff that's not in a amazingly lighted area but all right well i tried to uh brighten it up in here unfortunately we're in the garage and we're not on the side with the light but this is all black right here and if you look around um there's no streaks currently but 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to oversaturate this panel. I mean, that's a lot of product I just put on there. Usually for this whole piece, I would recommend that you spray one spray and wipe it in e e evenly. So I just sprayed like, I don't know, seven or eight sprays and now I'm just going to wipe it in. And because I'm out of direct sunlight and because the surface of this uh, plastic piece is not warm to the touch, I have no streaks, nothing. I'm going to do that piece right there now. One spray. Boom. Wipe it in. No streaks. All about how you use the product. Um, I recommend it on all the chrome. I mean, even even in this area right here. Everywhere you put it everywhere. Every nook and cranny you can get it in. It's going to protect from everything and anything. Black plastic trim. Chrome emblems this brown plastic doesn't matter the screen in fact that's actually uh what i i was going to mention that earlier the the cool part about uh applying it to your screen is you get that uva and uvb resistance uh CDU, uh and i think all the manufacturers are plagued with issues from the sun on the uh the display so uh with this stuff you're actually going to have some sun blocking resistance so it should last longer um this i mean we've got stickers here you can use it on the stickers i mean every single inch and every single nook and cranny you can use it on the mirrors the stickers the plastic everything you can use this stuff on everything and anything one product on everything protects it and then you're done i should be able to wipe this whole thing down from top to bottom and be done with it in five minutes your wash might take you 10 minutes your setup might take you 10 minutes so within 30 minutes you can have this thing spick and span ready to store in your garage so the next weekend you're ready to go out and have fun and play with your machine so anyway i just wanted to give you guys just a little bit of up close um you know insight on exactly what's going on here there is not a place on this thing you can't use this on safely i guarantee you it's not going to hurt your surface it is going to make everything last longer with regular use and uh one application lasts a long time i already mentioned to you i don't like longevity ratings but it is what it is thank you guys for watching and have a great day